Welcome back and thank you for joining us on The Policy. If you're just joining, you've missed too much. We just finished talking about most of the African leaders and our previous guests had uh, mentioned that most of our African leaders should not focus on how long they stay in power, but talk about the legacies they live with or wherever they actually have ruling. And now we'll move over to, um, we'll talk about some party politics going on in Nigeria. And we'll start with NNPC. West Senator Rabbi Kwanko, so faction of the new People's Nigerian Party, has held a parallel meeting of the National Executive Committee in Abuja to reverse its suspension. The faction announced the expulsion of the new acting national chairman of the party, Mijo Agwo, and some notable members involved in Kwankoso's sanction. Now, the move is coming hours after Kwankoso was suspended by the party's board of trustees for alleged anti-party activities. The decision to sanction Kwankoso and, and appoint new national officers headed by Major and acting national secretary, Ogini Olakwasi, and 18 others was taken at a NEC meeting in Lagos earlier on Tuesday. Now, prior to the next session, Agbo and founder of the party, Dr. Boniface Anir Bonam, forgive my pronunciation, had both been suspended from the party on August 24th. But Anir Bonam, Agbo and many loyalists of the party kicked against the decision, insisting that if any member deserves to be punished, it ought to be the presidential candidate of the party over his alleged suspicions, activities in recent times. And now let's take a look at that with um, Honorable Ibrahim Kaya, NMPP Chairman, Katsina State. Welcome to the program, sir. Thank you very much. It's nice to have you over here, sir. Nice to meet you. All right. Um, I'm sure of yours are curious, even though some persons might know how NMPP um, actually started, but but then I would like to hear from you how NMPP started. It would be nice to hear from um, an in-house person himself. Okay, Nigerian New Nigerians People Party NMPP is one of the first generation political party in okay. the Second Republic. Okay. It has been registered like about 21 years ago. Okay. But it has been in the coma <laughs> from the co-founding fathers. Okay. So when we are taking the political opportunities into the country to okay. find a platform. Okay where we can join and promote our political ideology. When we later as PDP and APC was no longer a platform, we have to search within all the Nigerian political parties. We come and bring into New Nigerians People Party in the last 10 months. Okay. And there was an accord and understanding and agreement to go within. Okay. And we brought the, our leader who is Dr. Rabi Musa Konkoso, who wrote an agreement and understanding together with, the, with the Dr. Bonfess. Okay. And you can see which Boniface always pray for a Messiah to come in and promote a political party. And okay. everybody know in Nigeria, in the last 10 months, NMPP has come to have what is known a bigger major force in Nigerian politics. Okay, so apart from gaining momentum from the last election, what is currently happening in, with NMPC? Because report has it, um, I just read now where they said the uh, was suspended. It looks like there's a lot of back and forth, not just him ex suspended. Of course, they said the NWC members have all equally been suspended. What actually is happening with NMPC? Actually, this is a very nice political development. People okay. call it crisis. Okay. But we as politicians, we call them political developments. Development, okay. A political party that generates a lot of weak wagons and forces within 10 months. You know, when you are trying to go into electronic positions, people from all sorts of life will come and join the party. Mm -hmm. But actually, what actually happened was not a really a crisis. Okay. The party is formidable, it's still very strong. Konkoso is still a member of the party. Okay. But after the February election of this year, there were so many activities that took place into the party. Okay. Some that have a lot of anti party activities. Connivance, accord, merger, allies without the permission of the party. Okay. So the board of trustee and the leadership decided to review the performance of the party across the nation. Okay. Now we are in August. At the end of July, committees bring their reports and find the culprits according to the party constitution and sanction them accordingly. Okay. You can see a lot of state escorts were suspended. Some members are expelled. Okay. Uh, to give way for more investigation. Okay. This is normal in a vibrant political party. You remember in the past, PDP was like that. Yeah. APC was like that. Mm -hmm. So to us, it's not a crisis. It's Konkoso is still a valid leader in NMPP. Okay. The board of trustees, they are still there. Even yesterday, we have NEC meeting okay. where we resolve seven items. Okay. Number one is to change the party logo because of the problem we had during the political election of well, February 20, 2023 okay. to suspend some article section with the constitution of the party so that it will allow us to bring develop new ideas okay. to pass laws of 
sanctioning okay. those airy members who yeah. went to anti-party problems, suspend yeah. them, and first emotion to 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 drive a new force to structure the party for a better performance. If okay. we can drive election in the last term and, and we become the third or fourth force in Nigeria, what do you think, Messi? <laughs> if we are there in the next four years, hmm. who would defeat PDP and EPC round table? Okay, are you looking to defeating PDP and EPC or looking for a new Nigeria as the name implies? Yes, because they are the problem in politics. <laughs> Pitting PDP and APC, they are the problem. But it looks like every party is pitching everybody against each other. It's PDP feels APC is a problem. Anyway, APC I, feels I, I, PDP is a problem. I, I, I want to take your idea. We are okay. looking for a new Nigeria. Okay. But for you to look for a new Nigeria, you have to solve the problem of the existing structure of political system in Nigeria. Hmm. Do you understand what I'm talking about? So if PDP is the problem, which is the second force, and um, APC now is the first force, you can see what happened with the Labour Party and NAPP. <laughs> I'm talking about anti-party activities. What are the certain anti-party activities that have been going on with NMPP? Because, of course, um, the pictures of um, Senator Rabiu Kwanko, so, of course, having handshakes and probably meetings with um, President Bola Metrinubu, is that um, against the party? Of course, we've seen Wiki, who is a PDP party member, is currently a sitting minister <coughs> of the FCT. And, of course, it's not a part of the APC. Apart from being our presidential candidate, okay. you know, Rabiu Konkosu is a political leader in this country. Okay. And when President Tundubu came into power, he went into consultation all over the nation, oh, regardless the nation. of okay. religion, political Religion's party. Policy, and, yes. mm -hmm. and he has kept doing that. And the way our leader is that whoever is ready to repent from this mistake and come and work and save Nigeria, that is the idea of Nigeria. So even if, uh, sorry to cut you short, so even if Senator Rabiu Kongoso made the ministerial list, your party wouldn't mind. Kongoso will not go and take the ministry without consulting the party. But he was not invited for ministry. For ministry. He was consulted for the state of the, the nation. State of the nation. Okay. And before he went, we, the boss of trustee, and the next we have that. Approved that. Yes. Okay. This is how he operates. He's a Democrat who started from the grassroots. Do you understand what I'm mm -hmm. talking about? But you know, it's not everything you know in the air. And you know, journalists, you take opportunity to see me. If you see her wearing a black cap, or oh, my eight is upside down, you say, I'm now. <laughs> I'm now um, uh, something like that. But you can't speak for all journalists because actually when you entered, I told you, oh, your cap is nice and then the cap yes, looks I like a yes. I'm not, I'm not accusing them. <laughs> okay. I say you define what you see. <laughs> what we see. <laughs> okay, now since speaking about um, NNPP, you said something about uh, moving forward the state of the nation and of course consulting um, the party itself and all of that. Now, let's put um, NNPP forward. Do you think, um, as the name implies, new Nigerian, Nigerian people. people party do you think the present administration should um, actually embody more of different parties uh, like you said irrespective of their parties their religions and all of that you think that would actually allow Nigeria to move forward and then coming to NNPP are you guys open to all of these irrespective of people's religion should we have expected that because I mean you would agree with me that Senator Rabi Kwankwaso is fully grounded in Kano. I mean, he had whooping millions of votes coming from that city, and which is actually applaudable given that it's the first time he's running for um, the presidential seats. Well, this is an intertwined question. As a Nigerian, yes. Mm -hmm. okay. I want every government that comes into power to get the qualities of a Nigerian to live the best, regardless of sentiment by God, religion, or tribal, the tribal yeah. which is okay. But for the political party like ours, Mm -hmm. I think whether the government has agreed or not, we want Nigerians to agree with us and put us into power in 2027. Mm -hmm. And we'll make that chance. Because we are old politicians, we are strategic by nature. We know what we can deliver. We have done it before, we will do it now. Mm -hmm. I am from Kesan, I'm not from Kano. Okay. Even the votes that were declared for our party, we only kept quiet, we didn't go to court because we have our reason. Because we know when you project a stone, the speed is higher when it's coming down. So next time, you see we have started early, and this is where you see this political development. Boniface forming a group, forming a group. accusing Konko. So Konko is only a leader and a presidential candidate. Boniface is a member, chairman, board of trustee of the party. party. The chairman, board of trustee that was expelled. So if you send out a candidate from a Labour Party, what chance does it make to a Labour Party? <laughs> so why should a candidate in NMPP be an issue of discussion? Well, he has not done any issue. Because Konkoso is a leader. And he's our leader, and we believe in him, we believe in his ideology. 
and he has done anything wrong without the consent of the party. So, uh, for those who are found guilty okay. for anti-party, you ask me when you see him shaking hands with Atiku. Was he not discussing with uh, uh, Obi before? <laughs> what did he to accuse him when they are trying to make alliance with Labour Party? Maybe because they're the top two. I mean, if That's the exactly it's the same thing with anybody, regardless of political the party. Political parties, yeah. Do you understand what I'm talking mm -hmm. about? If you see him um, shaking hand with Adebayo of SDP, he's a welcome development because Adebayo has a lot of issues to control based on his own perception of Nigeria. And when you listen to his political manifesto, you have to give him kudos to his own ideology. So, I think New Nigerian People's Party, INEC and the federal government and the politician, we should allow it to happen. To okay. Give the younger generation a better understanding of what is called politics and democracy in Nigeria. And by the time you'll be able to do that, mm -hmm. you can see people would vote what they want according to their conscience. To their conscience. The strategic map of most political party now mm -hmm. is not well, well, well defined by ideology. Is it the Keynesian approach? Is it the Marxist approach? Is it the economic approach? People don't know that. Mm -hmm. People want to feed in this country now. When do I get my next meal? No graduate in this country, no farmer, will be able to tell you that I have your future in the next five months. I don't know whether means you are sure your promotion is guaranteed here. I don't know what is going to be the nature of your next cost. That is no Nigeria in a political system. In Nigeria with a political system, you should define the future for the country. For an old man like me who is chairman of a political party, for a young lady like you to say, yes, in the next 10 or 15 years, I shall be able to achieve this regardless of political party, political party when you have your program with a political party and that is what the new nigeria is trying to develop for all of us to see tomorrow when i'm here they say his analogy is from casino either from kaduna his chairman or whatever i say messi either she's yoruba or Yibo, or whatever it's not the issue we are all human beings the wise says that a lot of politicians you say you know neither does poverty discriminate whether you are a christian, yeah, christian or you're muslim. Or muslim hunger has no tribe can you say because your house had, there is no hunger <laughs> or Yoruba or Igbo? But there must be a policy map and strategic map politically for a new Nigeria and for a progress of Nigeria. And the only political party that is going to do that is new Nigerians people. Uh, speaking about moving Nigerian forward and um, legacies, um, well, we cannot talk about um, youth inclusion without talking about the past election. That's February 25th. Of course, yes. we've seen where um, that election is one election where most of the youth were actually actively involved. Um, I would like to ask, do you have any um, anything that has to do that includes youth and women generally because of course go to Kado state where our government is operating today in the last three months okay there are 24 commissioners 18 are youth okay. six are female below the age of 40 23 30 and go and see development go and see progress go and see inclusion and that is what i'm talking that is the future of the youth yes yeah as a young lady, regardless of political party, you should be able to say, this is what I aspire to be, this is not what I want to achieve. But a lot of you are thinking for the next meal. Regardless of course you read, whether you read engineering, electronics, whether you read arts or communications, no Nigerian can say, the only party, the only political terrain will give you that is new Nigerian people's party. So and the practical example you are asking, mm -hmm. go to Kano and Kano. see. Okay. Go to Kano and see very young agile women even you remember when uh, uh president tunubu uh, his excellency was trying to borrow he picked a very young lady and he wanted to give her a minister you remember all the noise we made about it and because of the same nature of our own opponents they went and bring another grandmama and she's now to the, <laughs> the minister given you should understand and uh, that is that is that is i think the only political party youth should try and understand it's not what people tell you from what is called oral tradition oral of history tradition. you should go deep down to the literature of the books go to the political manifestation understand the constitution of the party look at the caliber of the people in the party charity begins at home rabbi musa Konkoso was a member house of rep he was a governor he was a senator he was a minister he presented for the fourth time why should this man continue to 
go from here because he has a plan for the future. Do you understand? And for you to take, you have to get a vehicle to sell your manifesto, and the only vehicle is political party. <laughs> Do you understand what I'm mm, talking about? So I think the only party I think people should look at, look at the obedient movement, look at the way people caricature the youth movement, the obedient movement. You see, there is no that cohesion of political ideology. Ideology, so. Mm -hmm. And it was later characterized as a bigotry political party. It's not supposed to be. Even if you mobilize the youth now, there is a way you either go to religion section and you start to do that, or you go to another section. We should be on that. The only party that can give you future, the only party that can define a Nigeria for a progressive Nigeria, is New Nigerians People Party okay. under the leadership of Naira Rabi Musakon. God willing, Rabi Musakon has developed a lot of you all over the nation: architect, pilots, electrical engineers, administrators. All over the nation when he was governor of Kano State. And then one of his um, manifestos said he's going to deal with education. And of course, that is what most people are interested in, given the um, antecedents we have with the educational system in Nigeria. Are we looking forward to seeing that uh, more of him? And you've mentioned several times, it looks like we're looking at the same running again in 2027. Hopefully, so, hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. You know, it's a matter of time. But you know, the party, if you want to build a foundation of your house, you have to do with a solid stone. Solid stone the other so the party will have a structure. If Concoso is qualified and he's alive, definitely he will contest on the, the platform of the party. Okay. And he will not stop on that. And for education, mm -hmm. I see, I don't need to tell you, the background of development, particularly in Africa, Africa. is education. I'm not talking about English. You know, people who come and speak English thinking they're about educated. Mm -hmm. No, it's about education. Kaftan, how old is Kaftan? He's competing February with 20, 30, 50 years generation televisions in Abuja. It's because people are trained. You have latest technology. You are digital by nature. If you are analog, you think you'll be able to succeed? And the difference between digital and analog is no, not about education. It's not about education. We call it so education is the core cool thing. And the only candidate that was concentrating to prove a blueprint for Nigeria is Dr. Rabi Musa Do you think the conventional private and public university will take us to the promised land? <laughs> Have you seen the curricula in all the universities? Not universities. <laughs> now they are changing name. They will say food technology degree in media. You, they will confuse you from different kind just to generate funds from people. How many BSCs and professors we have over Nigeria? What are they developing? Sometimes it's not a shame you see professor of certain field discussing Nigeria, either in bigotry terms, mm. tribal or religion. Is that what education is <coughs> for? When we talk about education, we mean real education. And we have seen the value of education. <laughs> I've been favored to speak here because of education. I've been a banker all my life. And I took the life to the maximum level of the profession. And I was so proud to be a banker. But now I'm a politician. And if I'm not, I don't have an ideology at this age, I should go and fold my hands and relax and allow my children not to have future. So I'm calling for everybody to go and join politics okay. so that he can define a future. Use the vehicle and a platform, but come to an NPP and make the difference. Follow review, learn more about us. All right, thank you, Honorable. It is um, laughable that we've had two guests today on the polity and they both said the same thing about education, that education goes beyond speaking English and, of course, not just uh, the four walls of the schools and yes. all of that. Thank you very much, Honorable. It's been an you, insightful one. You're welcome, you program. Yeah. Of course, we would um, get you on board again and hopefully have um, Senator Rabbi Kwanko, so of course, to talk about most of the happenings in NMPC. You're welcome um, in NMPC. Thank you. All it. right. Thank you very much. All right, our viewers at home, thank you for staying on the policy with us today. It's been an insightful one with you guys. And of course, hope you've learned one or two things. And um, this is where I draw the curtains for the policy. I remain Messi Babaji. They see you same time, same station tomorrow. Bye. <laughs>